last thing we're going to talk about today. To make your success real is to play by your strengths. Play by your strengths. A number of years ago, there was a very frustrated college athlete. The guy was 18 years old. He was just coming off a knee injury, and he was in his first year of college, which can be intimidating. He was in his first year of collegiate sports, which can be very intimidating. And this young, frustrated college athlete, if you haven't figured out, was me. And as I was 18 years of old, I had a conflict. My college tennis coach was telling me to play a certain style. He said, just stay back and just keep hitting the ball, and whoever misses first, they lose the match. I mean, I can't really argue with his theology, if you want to put it that way. But my private coach, Galen Scott, had taught me a different style. I was gifted with quick feet, strong power, and very soft hands with a racket. And so he taught me a classic serve and volley style. I hit the big serve, came to the net, hit my approach volley, squeezed into the net, put the ball away. And I was always putting pressure on my opponent. I came in on first serves and second serves, and they never got a break with me. But now, I had a college coach telling me one thing, personal coach telling me another thing, and I was really confused. What do I do? If I don't do what my college coach tells me to do, what might he decide? You don't get to be in the roster today. But if I don't listen to my private coach, who had trained me for years, what are the odds of me losing? Probably pretty good. So I remember Galen just kind of sitting me side of the court and just saying, just play your game. Now it was much easier from his standpoint. But I decided to listen to him. So I went out there and I started playing my game. I started hitting the big serve and I started coming in. And it was a little bit easier when I was like two or three courts away from where my coach was. But as long as I started winning, and as long as I came off the court with a victory, do you think my college coach said anything? Huh. Now, the big question is, why would a coach, or why would a boss, or why would somebody in your life, or somebody in my life, tell us to do something that's not gifted for us, or not perfect style for us? I believe my college coach had the best intentions in the world. He's a good guy. Maybe it was that he didn't know the style that I played, because he didn't play that style. Maybe he was more comfortable in a different way. Could be. But for you to be this, all the success that God has for you, you have to be the best you. One of my mentors in the speaking industry is Scott McCain, who, Scott is, uh, it's hard to think of him as one of our elder statesmen now too, but he is. He is in the Hall of Fame for professional speakers, which you probably didn't know we had a Hall of Fame, but we do. So Scott's one of the best of the best. And I remember when I was early on in my speaking career, he kind of gently, you know, pulled me aside or gently everything. He says, you know, and he told me a little story about him trying to mimic his mentor. And he basically got across to me, you know, you can only be the facsimile of Scott McCain, but you can be the best Mark Bowser. And he got me to learn that, yeah, I can take pointers from him, I can take pointers from Zig, I can take pointers from Tom Hopkins, but I can't speak like them. I have to speak like Mark. And as long as I do that, then I'm playing to my strengths. And so if we take these things to heart, and there's many, many other avenues to success, but if you take these just few items that we talked about today, I can virtually guarantee you that you will move further down the road the path that God has opened for you. God wants us to stretch ourselves. He wants us to be a blessing to other people. And the only way we can do that is to get out of our comfort zone and run. Appreciate you having me today. Thanks a lot.